Yo guys, welcome back to my PDC Joe Rebel Clash video. Today guys, we're going to be taking a look at a Turbo Boltund Naganadel deck. And honestly, this deck played pretty well for me in this video. So obviously the whole idea of this deck is to use Bolt Storm, which is 10 plus normal damage, light energy you have in play. And the best way, in my opinion, to get that going is through Naganadel's Charging Up. So Charging Up can do many things, getting you an energy in play. This means you can do extra stuff than just going to attach Cocoa Prism. And then you have Charging Up on top of that. Also, when a Bolt Hunt gets knocked out, you can get those two energy back in play. So it's not like your damage really ever nullifies itself. So that's one of the nice things I like having about the Nagandals in this deck. And of course, Bolt Hunt can hit very, very hard with Electro Power. And even its first attack is really good, allowing you to get two Light Energy in play on one of your Pokemon or Pokemon your bench, sorry. So it's actually just a really good card, and Naganadol Bolt Hunt is a good combo, and uh, I actually think this deck did really well in this video. So before we get in the video, guys, of course, shout out to our sponsor, Cargraven TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking for any PDCGO codes, you get them over at Cargraven, and of course, guys, if you have any uh, codes or bulk cards you don't want to use, you want to get rid of, guys, you can give them the Cargraven TCG, and they will give you some cash or in-store credit for your codes and bulk stuff that you want to trade in. Of course, if you're still looking for Rebel Clash codes, guys, come over to Cargraven TCG. Uh, of course, at Cargraven, you can buy codes singly, lots of 50. Um, they also have the pre-release kit uh, codes and the, uh, the themed head codes for Rebel Clash. And they have all the other PCO set codes over there, too. Of course, stuff like Team Up and Broken Bonds and uh, Base Set, Shorn Shield. Uh, get them over to Cargraven. And if you get any codes from Cargraven, guys, you can use my discount code code LDF at the checkout for a 5% discount on your purchase. It supports the channel. It helps Cargraven now. Helps stuff out, too. So, yeah, shout out to Cargraven TCG, the sponsor. Check them out and use code LDF. So... Let's take a look at this list. And again, this deck played pretty well for me in this video. Um, Electrify and Bolt Storm are two really good attacks. Uh, I like to go second with this deck a lot of the time to do that turn one Electrify. And uh, we're going to be using cards like Viridian Forest. We have Quick Ball. We have Dedene. We have Treasure. We have many ways to discard basic lightning in the discard so that we can use it with Naganadel. Um, and it's ability charging up. So you just want to get like at least two two Nagandals is a good amount to get in play You can get three in play to go even more ham But you get a bunch of Nagandals on your bench you charge them up and you just one-shot stuff And again with the Electro Power you can reach some pretty high numbers the two matches I got I played against two different decks using tag teams and uh, yeah, Bullstorm was doing justice for us. So it's just a good combo. Some more stuff the deck, of course. I am playing a Ditto just as a fifth Poipole. I am playing two to Dene for Dede Change, and then I got one Coco Prism. Another great card in here because you get even more energy in play. And then we got a Coco V. Uh, this is just mainly here as kind of like a fillery type of card. This is the most interchangeable card in this deck, but the Coco V is here for the attacks you can do. You can do Spike Draw early on. You can also do Thunderous Bolt in the late game. It's a nice backup attacker if you need one, and it has a free retreat cost, which is also why I like it. I got Zero Aura, of course, which you can also use Full Voltage if you want to. If you get an insane amount of energy in the discard pile turn one, you can go with like a turn one Full Voltage. Just a 4-4 Naga line. Uh, obviously, stuff like maybe a Rushy Rom and a Fire Energy could go in here if you want to be cheeky, because you can use Naganda, obviously, with Rushy Rom. It is already a good combo. Uh, but other than that, that's pretty much all we got. There's no Pika, no Raichu, Raichu. We're just going straight Bolt Hunt. Just making go through three Bolt Hunts, and that's how we're going to do it. We can also use Naganda's Turning Point against Mewtwo. We can also use Turning Point when we get our Turning Point turn to do 160 damage. Uh, going to the items now, we got 4 E-Power, 1 E-Switch, three or 2 Treasures, 2 Comms, 4 Quick Balls, 1 Switch. I just still like having Switch because stuff can still happen where you need to play it, you know what I mean? I got Thunder Mountain, I got 2 Viridians, again, to discard our energy, 2 Bosses Order, I got 3 Cynthia, 4 Research, 2 Volkner. Volkner is great, it just guarantees you, like, a free Search ball switch card or a free electro power it gets you basic energy i'm playing a vitality band i'm trying this out but sometimes i want to do 10 more damage like for example maybe with zero aura we can do uh you know 200 with electro power vitality band sometimes bolt hunt can need the vitality band to reach higher numbers you can use with again at all it's just many uses for this band so that's why i'm playing one of it i got two speeds now you can't use speed energy with Naganadel or coco so we're only playing two but it is still a very good card in here so i'm still gonna play it but we do have 11 light energy in the deck to round out the list here and yeah, this is my Turbo Bolt on the Gandal deck. Played pretty well in this video. I think, I think the deck actually isn't that bad. I really don't. So let's go try it out. All right, guys. Get into our first match with our Turbo Bolt on deck here. We're up against it looks like a fire deck uh, with no lightning, though, and no metal. I don't think it's going to be Blissefalon. I have no idea what this could be. I guess it could be Greenzard. And they are making me go first. They're definitely playing a Welder deck. Um, there's a Mulligan revealing what we are playing, kind of. All right, let's see here what we're going to get. We get a bolt on start. All right, not bad. We have Zero Aura 2 and a switch. I think we're going to start with a bolt on. We're probably going to have to go at Dedene here because we don't have any other Pokemon or supporters. So we're just going to start with the bolt on 
see what they're playing yeah so it is a turbo deck okay we do actually just draw a quick ball which is good so how are we sequencing this let's go pokecom put this on top get ourselves a poi pull we'll quick ball away this hoping that the dedenne's in the deck yep they're there and we will go a dead a change see what we're getting here more energy we didn't get another uh we didn't get a draw supporter which is unfortunate we'd have a lightning for this guy we're just gonna pass yeah not the most amazing of starts i'll say that but whatever would have liked to have seen a research or a cynthia there it's just some way to get more cards but we can just sit back and do electrify if we have to at least we got two technical point pulls down which is good i mean our hand's not like bad i mean volkner is not a terrible card to get i mean if we want with Volkner, we could get like we could get a quick ball to go. What we can't even get Eldegoss. That's right. We didn't even play a draw supporter. Never mind. That plays out of the picture. Yeah, they just had a green in their hand. They do get the Zards here. The Zards might be a little tough to deal with. Not gonna lie, they are pretty freaking tanky, and they one shot me. Yeah, this is not good. And they have a they have a welder in their hand, probably two or another green. They just knock me out next turn. Double blaze can kill me too, which is not ideal. Yeah, Pokecom, that's just not helping. I right, just go Volkner here. We're gonna have to take. But I guess we do have the Dedene. Yeah, I guess we do have it. So we could just do another Dede change, I guess. That's what we gotta do. Unfortunately. I'm gonna have to go double dead a change because this game didn't want to give me the trust border. All right, let's go dead a change. Try to get a better hand. We're probably gonna have to just do electrify this turn, anyways. Um, okay, there we go. We got some trust borders. We didn't get a second again at all, unfortunately, which is fine. Put that there, and let's go electrify. We can put the energy anywhere we want, so we can go one here and just one on the other to Dene, so we don't have to load up one Pokemon. Now, there is a chance my opponent doesn't have a attack off this turn, but that is very, very low. They just need an energy to a tree to double blaze me. Yep, they just had the welder. So, we'll see what we can do. We are down one electro power, so I don't think it's possible to knock them out next turn. But who knows? There's a fiery flint. Get rid of a pokey gear. I wish I had Marnie in this deck or reset because those are cards that definitely uh, give us an advantage against. A deck like this they might just attack me with high heat blast that's oh they are what okay that gives me more time to build up energy which is actually good um i'm not sure i agree with that we can play this down now just so i don't draw it and then we can attack for one energy here we can just keep building up energy on the bench so the active there we go again again adele it's looking a little bit better we're getting a lot of energy in play which is what we're tr pretty much trying to do here we have Coco Prism 2 for next turn. So Bolt Storm for the knockout. How much are we doing? 220. So it's actually very likely we can KO that Reshizard next turn. Uh, which is really good. As long as we don't get, I guess, like Marnied or something. We should be able to kill this Reshizard. And we'll be in a good spot after that. I did have to play this Verdi down pre or the Thunderman down prematurely. We might have needed to say that. It is what it is. I'm fine with that. There's a green. Okay. They could double custom this Bolt Thund up, which would be okay, because we have Coco in play. So it's not too bad. We can get the energy back and play easily. So I'm not even concerned if they like double custom the bolt hunt. They are looking to play catchers. They could knock out one of my Naganadels, possibly. Um, they do get heads, and they are gonna bring in the other bolt hunt. I'm fine with this. We do have the Coco, so it's all good. They put down a Gallarmine, which is fine. We have the Viridian, so as long as we don't get stamped, we're good. I'm just gonna first strike. So I'm fine with this. They do knock me out, unfortunately, but we don't mind the energy being the discard. I actually don't know what the point of that was. I, I guess they can still knock out bolt hunt, but like I really don't know what the point of that was. We don't even actually have to go, uh, Coco. Technically, we could just get another Bolt Hunt here. Let's just go here. Quick Ball. We'll get rid of our research. We'll just play the Cynthia. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll just get the Cynthia. What are we looking at here? Okay, we can get rid of a Poipole, get energy. 
We're running low on energy, but we do have that Coco. And we have a knee switch. Which we could play right now, actually. Which I think I'm gonna do just in case of like a reset stamp. And Bolt Storm for the KO. Alright, let's see if my pony can recover from this. Um, they can KO me, most likely. They just double blaze me. We got more energy, which isn't bad. And we got a Tapu Koko V, which we don't really need right now. So I think we're chilling. Uh, we'll see if my opponent can recover once again. I think it's looking grim. They can reset me. That's the only thing that can like counter me is a reset stamp. But again, with Tapu Koko Prism Star, we should be able to just win next turn. We have a research. So I'm actually kind of hoping we keep our hand because this is actually a pretty good hand. This hand is pretty much the win. And to be fair, we probably lose this if they do stamp us into a bad hand. They already... They're already in the lead in prizes. So the only way we can counter them is go like, we have to like tingly return them, I think. We might have to do that if they do stamp me here, but there's not a green, so that's uh, that's not a stamp, which is the important thing. <laughs> God, it was in their hand, I'm mad. Uh, we got a Volkner, and there's a catcher. They get tails, okay, good. Hmm. I think we're one energy short of winning. Or one E power short of- are we winning this? Are we doing enough damage here? Even with the Volkner? Oh, wow. That was a good top deck. Um... Yeah, we have to go research, right? Okay. That should definitely be game. This- yeah, this is definitely game, because we go energy here. Quick ball way up, Whipple. Get the Tapu Koko. Play the Tapu Koko. Attach the energy. Charging up. Like, look at this. We're just... Even against a Reshizar deck, we still win. And then, yeah, that's game. Okay, that stamp kind of gave me a little bit of a heart attack there. When I saw that get played, I was like, bruh. Like, I kind of was like, oh my god. But, we came out on top of the win... And not bad, actually. Turbo Bolton, it's not as bad as I thought it was. All right, guys, let's get into another game here against Maz with another lightning based deck. So this could be a possible mirror match. We'll have to see. Um, we do win the coin flip. I'm going to let them go first because we can go for that turn one electrify. And ooh, we actually get there. Nice. We got the Bolton start with a Ditto Prism, which means that is a Poiple. All right. But this is a good hand too, an energy discard to Cynthia, and I rub against Pika. Now, we don't actually have a way to prevent Tag Bolt. That is the one thing that I wish maybe could go in this deck as a Mew, but like, Pika is not as popular as it once was. So, not having the Mew in decks now is actually pretty big for Pika, because a lot of people are just cutting Mew from the deck altogether, because like, who needs it anymore when Pika isn't as popular as it once was. But after this, we might need to play it. Now, Tag Bolt would only let them knock out one bolt on to end it again at all, which is still really bad for us in the long run, but we'll see how bad this gets. Um, we'll see, though. Again, we should be okay in this matchup, though, thankfully. We should be okay here. Uh, let's see what they're quick balling for. They're going for Zeraora. Uh, they didn't get rid of an energy there with that quick ball, which I like to see, so I don't want them to get extra energy in play to turn to full blitz me, which is still possible. Uh, we do have 200 HP, so they, if they want to go for turn 1 full blitz, they could just turn 1 tag bolt me and take the knockout, or they can full blitz somehow to get double custom. Ooh, they get a hedge on nav, but will they get a thunder mountain here? They get a galler mine. Alright, that's a little annoying. We do have zero though, so it's fine. Plus, we have many counter stadiums, so I'm not too concerned. We don't even need to play the galler mine unless they have a custom here on my ditto, which would be kind of annoying. Um, they get rid of an E power. I like to see that. Because even if they want to do the one tag bolt, they still have to go through the bolt on regardless. And without the E powers, they can't do that. Not even like Raichu Raichu to get through bolt on as easily. Because again, E power. There is an energy going on the Pika. There's a quick ball. Not getting rid of an energy. That's also good. They have a grass type in their deck. I'd like to know what that is. I want to know what that grass type they have is in the deck. Now, there's their own bolt hunt. They might retreat into it, possibly. We're not going to be attacking them this turn. We're just going to go for an Electrify here on another bolt hunt. So we'll see what they do here. We'll see if they retreat or not. I'm pretty sure Zeraora cancels out this. Like, I'm 100% sure it does. And they're actually going to stay in the active. All right. Ooh, Joe Coco. All right, so let's go Energy Discard. We'll get the second bolt hunt. 
We could play Coco down now, but I don't want to. I want to save Coco. Coco is like better in the later game than it is the early game. Nice. We got another treasure that does equal a Poiple Numero 2. It's not a bad start either. So we can electrify here, get two energy on our Bolt Hunt, and we're looking pretty good for next turn. Um, yeah, this is not bad. Not bad at all. We'll see if they take down Bolt Hunt. Since they put a Gallarmine in play, they have to get a Thundermound to attack me at, pretty much, unless they have like a Tag Switch combo, but they've already put their Stadium Nav. So if they don't get a Thundermound here, it's very unlikely they even attack me. They do put a big charm on, that is fine. That does give them a lot more HP, but as you saw in that last game, we can still cripple them. Though we don't have enough energy, but we can still two-shot them regardless, which I think is gonna be the plan because I don't think they have heals. Looks like they have to go for a second to Denny. They lose another E-Power. So what other card in their hand is that important that they wouldn't want to play the E-Power? Because I'm assuming they would want to play it, right? Unless they're fine with accepting the two-shot. They get a Coco. So that last card in their hand must be a Professor's Research then. Or Marnie. Yeah, it is a research. Alright, let's see what they get here. If they get the Thunder Mountain and the energy, they can attack me. They could knock me out with Tag Bolt, which I would be fine with because then we don't have to worry about Tag Bolt at all in this entire game, which is actually pretty refreshing. So hopefully that's actually what they do here. Ooh, and they're going to put the energy here. So that actually makes it more unlikely for them to get the attack off. They'd have to now go Coco Energy Switch or something. So that's actually not bad. Yeah, they're just going to retreat and electrify. They're definitely setting up for that tag bolt. They can tag bolt me without having to do full blitz, which is a little scary. But we might be able to take out this bolt hunt here. We do have a boss's order. Ooh, they're actually going to build the Coco V, which is, I guess, smart. Uh, what do we draw? An energy. Perfect top deck. I mean, yeah, if we want, we can play boss's order here. We're not really being threatened right now, so doing boss's order actually isn't that bad of an idea. Uh, we can knock out their Coco. So we knock out Coco. We take out this. We take out this to win the game. Let's do it. Let's take out that Coco. I don't mind this play at all. We get a quick ball. All right. Nice. You love to see it. Yeah. Live to see it. All right. What do they got? It's pretty likely they can KO me. It's very likely they can get the Thunder Mountain knockout here with their Coco V. But we took it. We took out their Coco Prism. They're down two E powers. Those aren't bad things to see. Those aren't bad things to see at all. And let's see what they have here to combat me. Uh, I don't think we take out this Pika. I guess if we can somehow survive the turn, if they don't decide to just take the Tag Bolt knockout, uh, what we do have is a possible um, knockout if we get enough energy. Maybe we can knock out this Pika. We get enough stuff off this research. It is possible to knock out this Pika Rom here um, if they don't KO me. If they just go for full blitz, we could maybe knock them out. They're just going to boss order mine again at all. Okay, fair play. It's a little annoying, but that's fine. They're not going to go the Bolt Hunt, which is really good. So it looks like we're just trading knockouts on 130 HP Pokemon with boss order. That's funny. But there's the full blitz. They're definitely going to set up the Tag Bolt here. We do have Coco Prism. I guess it's not out of the picture to knock them out, maybe. Oh, another they have the Raichu Raichu. They've already played a lot of energy too, so who knows? I was playing in the bolt on. What do we top deck here? Oh, uh, really, bro? Three research? That's not good. We still have Dedenny, I guess. Uh, I'm actually gonna go for my Coco Prism play now. Or well, not now, but I'm gonna well, I'm gonna research first. But yeah, rip. Okay. Um, that's definitely a hand, and I. I think this is a knockout. So we're gonna have, unfortunately we don't get an energy on a Coco, but we still have a Thunder Mountain, so it's fine. They have a Thunder Mountain too, so not worried about this. But I think this is a KO. One E power, two E power, three E power. We can even dob the day. This is risky because of Tag Bolt, but if we can pull something crazy off, which we kinda do. Go Pokecom for another Bolt Hunt. Yeah, I think we just KO'd them here with that triple E power. That was a nuts hand. And Bolt Storm. For the knockout. Yep, that is a knockout. Three times. We didn't even need the other energy, but we obviously want to play it. Whew. Yo, this deck is showing promise. Wow. Holy cow. This deck is actually showing promise. Um, Yeah. We have a boss's order too, so we just win next turn if they don't reset me or Marnie me. 
Um, yeah, this is looking good. Plus, we have Eldegoss and Bossor in the discard still to work with, so... All we have to do is knock out their Dedenne to win the game. We just took out their Pika in one hit. I mean, bro. I don't know. This this deck is playing better than I thought it would. This deck is actually bodying tag teams. This is awesome. Um, but let's see what they do here. Uh, they could KO me with Coco. Uh, if they go Thunder Mountain, reset, stamp, knockout, that could be bad. But we could still knock out the Coco too. Like, we stole the Nagandals. Like, I just don't see how they're winning this at this point. I mean, it's just not looking good for them. They still have to take five prizes. Like, I don't think they can take all their prizes by the time we get a knockout on a on a one V Pokemon or a GX Pokemon. So we'll see what happens here. My opponent could salvage something together. There's the knockout. Okay, so if they do have a reset stamp here, that will be bad. But I don't even know if Pika plays reset stamp anymore anyway. So there's a good chance they don't have a reset stamp here. If they do have a reset stamp, that will suck quite a bit. Um, because we're not guaranteed to win. But we could still very easily... Well, I guess... We still have one charging up. We still have a point. I mean, I think we can still even knock out this Coco V, even if a big charm goes off. I think we can still win by knocking out this Coco, but just for insurance, we want to kill the Dedenne to win the game. But let's see what they do. Oh, they just concede. I don't know. Turbo Boltund with Naganadel actually did pretty well in this video today. But yeah, I think I'm going to rather these show video guys with the deck here. I do have to do some stuff today. Um, so I'm going to keep this video a little bit shorter on those two games, but I think those two games demonstrated what this deck is all about. And demonstrated it actually perfectly about how good Bolt Hunt is with Naganado. You get a bunch of Nagas in play and you're doing a lot of damage. So I don't know. The fact that we were just bodying those tag teams there was pretty good. We did get a little lucky in that Rushizard game when that reset stamp hit. But I'm pretty sure we still had game with that Volkner in hand too, if my math was right. But yeah, that'll wrap the video guys on the Turbo Bolt Hunt deck here with Naganado. Definitely a pretty strong archetype in my opinion. It Worked well for us. We got pretty good dubs there. Winning games. You like to see it. But I'll be with you guys on the video on the deck. If you guys enjoyed, drop a like on the video. Subscribe down below to have another reaching 9,000 or 8,200 subscribers. And as always, guys, make sure to check out our sponsor, Car Cabin TCG, down below too. Use code LDF if you order and pick up any codes over there too. And of course, you can trade in any codes or bulk you have to Car Cabin also for some cash. And follow me on Twitter down below too. You still want to stay up to date with all my tweets. And I'll see you guys on the PDCG video tomorrow. Bye bye.